Ten days ago, a house fire in Bon Secours destroyed a home, forcing a family of four to live in tents. Debbie Williams shares their struggles in a story you will see only on News 5. Well, just think about how hot it's been over the last several days. Now think about what it would be like to have to live in a tent in all this heat after your house has been devastated by fire. Ten days after the fire turned everything they owned to ashes. I didn't ever think in my wildest dreams that this would happen, that we would lose our home. The Goulart family. But this is the first one we stayed in. Kind of small, but not too bad. Are still living in tents. This is our storage tent. Here we keep our clothes that are given, our towels. We got food. All in the shadow of what's left of their home, Megan Goulart is beginning the long road to rebuilding their lives. They don't know what started it. They don't know how. The fire took everything. Megan's husband was able to save himself and little else. It's her girls, eight-year-old Bella and five-year-old Angela, that keep her going. They say, Mama, we're alive. Since the fire, they've started a Facebook fundraiser, and they are making progress. Excuse the little bit of a mess. This is where we're staying now. It's cool. The girls have cots. They plan to rebuild, and they know the road to recovery will be a long one. They're hoping the kindness of strangers and friends will help shorten the trip. It's a lot better. We keep our spirits up and we pray every day. On the Baldwin County Beat in Bon Secours, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.